Hello, good evening. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I am in the Untended Graves, which is very suspiciously like the Cemetery of Ash. So suspiciously like the Cemetery of Ash that it has its own Firelink Shrine, and we're gonna go see what's going on in here. Everything is very dark and creepy, and I don't know how I feel about this. I also have a lot of souls, and that's making me kind of nervous. First things first. Need to explore. I don't know if there are going to be enemies here. I don't know if there are going to be any NPCs. I have absolutely no idea what to expect. We're just going to check out the top tier here real quick. You know what? We can also poke our head out there and see what's going on with the giant. No seed. Still no seed. There's nothing down there. These gates don't seem to be interactable at all. Yeah, the ladder's missing too. Yeah, nothing. That's kind of a bummer. But somebody managed to get up there. Oh. Okay, let's see what's going on in this place. There's an item down where the bonfire usually is. All the thrones are still here, but they all look empty. Deal with that in just a moment. In Aldrich of the Deep. Okay, so these all seem. Who left the exiled? Holy King Lotheric. Last hope of his line. So, yeah, that's all the same. Oh, that's how you're supposed to find the other one, because it's there's a hole on this side. Yeah, nobody's sitting in any of the thrones. Try two-handing. Coiled sword fragment. Oops. Is that an actual weapon? I also picked up last time the Hornet Ring, which I didn't read. Ring associated with the Lord's Blade Siaran, one of the four Knights of Gwyn, the first Lord. Boosts critical attack. attacks. The masked Siaran was the only woman to serve in Gwyn's four knights, and her curved sword granted a swift death to any and all enemies of the throne. So did I just miss the coiled sword fragment here? No, did I miss it here? Oh, Chaos Blade. Here, Katana. A cursed sword of unknown origin, bearing uncanny streaks on its blade. Attacks also damage its wielder. That's dumb. The sword is not unlike a thing misshapen, granted life, but never welcome in this world. In other world, in other words, chaos itself. I'm very confused. What happened to the thing that I just picked up? Is it in here somewhere? It is. 
fragment of the coiled sword of a bonfire, which served its purpose long ago. Returns the caster to the last bonfire used for resting, or to the bonfire in Firelink Shrine can be used repeatedly. Oh, gotcha, it's the infinite use Homeward Bone. It's the feather from Dark Souls 2. Bonfires are linked to one another irreversibly, attaining their affinity long after their purpose is exhausted. That's actually really cool. Sorry, Homeward Bones. But you're... You're getting upgraded. You're getting swapped out. Okay. The old ladies here. Well, fancy that. A lost lamb wandereth in with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? you the same as your counterpart? To skirt the curse's grasp. Tarry not for long. Tis dark for now, and not a soul stirs. But remember, fires are known to fade in quiet. Or perhaps that captive already. Like the poor girl. <laughs> <sighs> to skirt Tarrant is all. <laughs> Which poor girl are you referring to? Ooh, check it out. There's Artorius' gear. I've been wondering how people got this. Priestess ring increases faith. In Lothric, the high priestess has long been considered one of the three pillars of the king's rule. The high priestess also served as the prince's wet nurse. Helm of a night tainted by the dark of the abyss. Twilight's blue tassel is damp and will ever remain so. A vanquished knight left behind only Wolf's blood and his legacy of duty. The undead legion of Farron was formed to bear his torch, and the armor of these abyss watchers suggests their own eventual end. That's cool. I will take one of each of them, please. That was expensive. To skirt hat okay. <laughs> You're creeping best. me out. Yeah, best not to tarry for long. Got it. What is going on here? Blacksmith hammer. Metal hammer passed down amongst blacksmiths of the shrine. Serves as a strike weapon, but also excels at reducing poise and breaking the guard of a shield. Of course, a hammer's true potential is realized in the hands of a blacksmith. Huh. No pyromancer there. Don't really know what else to expect. Yeah. Okay, so an illusionary wall here and one up there. So this whole area is just like hidden. Why? Eyes of a firekeeper. That's why. That seems like the counterpart to the blind firekeeper failure who's hanging out here in uh, back in our world. Reveals horrors to the sightless firekeeper. A pair of dark eyes, said to be the eyes of the first Firekeeper, and the light was lost by all Firekeepers to come. It reveals to the sightless Firekeepers things that they should never see. That sounds great! Oh, I can't use it. <laughs> Let's go give it to the blind girl! Oh, that feels creepy. Okay, so this actually, like, counts as the other Firelink Shrine, because I have not put a message here, but this is my Firelink Shrine message. Ah, tight spot. I guess it makes some amount of sense from, like, a game dev standpoint. 
reuse the same area, just with different lighting. Okay. okay, so it looks like there's nothing else to do here. So I have a pair of Firekeeper's eyeballs. I wonder... No, it wouldn't be possible to get to this place with the ashes, would it? We, we could have gotten here with... Yeah, maybe we could have. Maybe if I hadn't placed them in the other thrones, we could bring it here and place them here. I wonder if that would do anything. I wonder if that would change things at all. I am interested. I will attempt that in my second playthrough, maybe. I don't think we had to kill the ashes, because it was um, when we were fighting Yorm, we got teleported out. Oh, I can just... Speaking of teleporting out... Aha! Shrine bonfire, please. Um, I got teleported out and back to the, uh, what's her name? Just instantly, right upon defeating Yorm. Hello, do I give the eyeballs to you or do I give them to the other Welcome one? Home, speak. Oh, I can give you. Very mm. well, then take them. Hmm. Let these souls be cleaned and manifested. Manifest. So I haven't given you a Firekeeper soul. Let's just do that and get it out of my inventory, maybe. Ashen One, this is much like what lies within me. Then let it find its own place within my bosom. She will understand. We are both Firekeepers after all. Firekeeper is now able to heal the Dark Sigil. Okay, I didn't... Yeah. I didn't know if it was just going to heal it. May the flames guide thy way. It was mentioning that on the thing. That's fine. Um, I don't want to heal the Dark Sigil, I don't think. Maybe? I don't know. I'm going all in on the Dark Sigil, Lord of Hollows stuff for now. Eyes of the Firekeeper. Before I do that, can we give them to the blind lady? Do you have anything new for sale? I don't believe you do. Oh, you do! Gundir's stuff. Ancient helm of a set of cast iron armor belonging to champion Gundir. Modeled after a former king, Gundir, or the belated champion, was bested by an unknown warrior. He then became sheathed to a coiled sword in the hopes that someday the first flame would be linked once more. Orn's gear. Unusual helm bestowed upon Knights of Karim. Modeled on Morn, the Archbishop's Apostle. The helm is of perfect likeness to the stone heads lining the cathedral. A Karim knight will dedicate an entire career to attending to a single maiden, just as Morn once served one goddess alone. So this is the armor of the guy that's from a unique mineral resembling stone. Okay. Um, the guy who, uh, who was watching over the failed Firekeeper. That's his armor. Which kind of weirds me out a little bit. Did he die? Did I do something to... I don't know. Ashen one. Oh, do you have anything to actually say if I speak to you? Ah. Ashen one. Is it? No. Ashen one. Do you have anything to say, Mr. Blacksmith man? I found uh, your hammer. It wasn't me. Can't give you the hammer though. That's sad. No shards. Uh, uh, talk, talk. Direct. No. Oh. Okay. my purpose in battle. Pretty. <laughs> Hello, I have some eyeballs. Do you want some eyes? Oh, chat, do you wish? No, I can't give you the eyes. Have a pleasant night. That's fine. Hmm. All right. Here, do you want some eyes? You can have some firekeeper eyes. It's going to show you things that you shouldn't see. 
Uh, Welcome home. Uh, I feel like I regret this already. Yeah, take them. Ashen one. Are these? They are. Are these eyes? Yes. Yes, they are. How gracious of thee, Ashen One. The very things we firekeepers have been missing. Is that it? Did that not do anything for me? Ashen One, my thanks for the eyes thou's given. But firekeepers are not meant to have eyes. It is forbidden. These will reveal through a sliver of light frightful images of betrayal. A world without fire. Ashen One, is this truly thy wish? Uh, I'm gonna decline and maybe we'll revisit this if it'll give me another chance. Uh, I don't know about this. Fair warning. I don't know about that. Okay, let's buy some things. Just going through all the unique things. Just gonna buy everything. Ashen one. Okay. Now that that's all said and done. How many bone shards? No. Where do we want to go? To the Grand Archives? Maybe. There is one last thing that I meant to do a while ago. And I just kept forgetting to do. So we're actually going to go to the Profane Capital and work backwards from here. At the very end of Irithyll Dungeon, I think it was down on the first floor, was where um, there were a ton of enemies, the, the jailers and all the cells that were locked up. And there was one that we couldn't get into that had a person. And I I meant to go back after we got the keys and I just completely spaced. This was a while ago, but um, yeah, it's been bugging me for the past couple of videos. But I was having so much fun exploring the garden. The gargoyle's gonna come to life. I just run for it? Is this a dumb idea? Nope, seems fine. Was there anything else over here? No. It's like 3,000 souls if I kill him, but... Eh. I just want to go unlock that cell. Oh, I'm going to have to fight all of the jailers that are in here, though. Yeah, this area. I hate this place. I hate these enemies. I hate everything about this place. meant to uh, for science these enemies and see if they can lower my max health all the way to where I die. I don't want that to be something they can do, but I'm curious to know if they can do it. I have very few souls. I might for science it as soon as we rescue the NPC. No, because they're all going to be dead. Maybe. Right here. Yeah, let's just give it a shot. Can you destroy all of my health? Well, yes, if you stab me. That's not what I meant. I was trying to dodge out of the way, and that just didn't happen. That's fine. Uh, things we do for science. Bam! Smash. Okay. And now they're all going to be alive again. Oh, 
Ow. Ow, swing and a miss. if this is possible. I will learn. I'm going to learn. I'm assuming that they're going to drop me all the way down to only having a single maximum hit point. Like, one HP. And that they can't actually kill me unless they hit me. So I'm going to have to kill the gargoyle this time. Gosh darn it. That gargoyle. He messed me up there. If he wasn't there, I would have the answer to my question. And that is all I care about right now. Must learn. Must know the answer. All right, bring it on, buddy. Come on. Oh, don't dodge out of my attacks. There we go. Sheesh. Okay, now I want to see what you all can do to my health. Although maybe I'll just kill you all instead. I do like that a single jump attack is enough for me to kill them. When I'm two-handing this weapon. That's kind of cool. Hello, what can you guys do to my maximum health? You want to get rid of all of it, please? Really curious to know how much of all of it you can get rid of. Will I just die? Are you just going to kill me? You're still chasing me. Whoops. So 36, 37, so you're taking me down to like, like a third of a percent or something stupid. Okay, this is actually dangerous! This is actually very quite dangerous. 18, 19, holy crap. Okay, so they can, but it, it fights against it and it gets down there that low. The game tries to give me my health back. That's fine. Let's get all of the health back. How much am I at? 10. So we got as low as 10. I wonder if that's because there were three of them. If it's if it's a... Like, if it depends on how many of them there were. Oh, so we're going to miss! There we go. Ah, oh, revenge feels so good. So, maybe if every single one of them is looking at you, they'll get your health down low enough to kill you. I don't think that's actually possible, though. So I'm gonna miss. There we go, and there we go. Big old rat, not interested in fighting you. Those things, not interested in fighting you. Where was the one that was locked? Not there. Oh, the werewolf thing. Am I gonna have to fight you? I'm 
I don't know if he's gonna come out of his cell. I think we're good. Hooray! I finally remembered to come free you! Check it out! You're not dead, are you? Nothing evil in here? You're just a person? Oh, there you are. Oh, there I am. I thought you'd all but forgotten me. How sweet. I kind of had, sorry. Good to know that a skinny little heretic can still turn heads. Thank you. I think that is a compliment. Hmm? Oh, you're not one of them, are you? Accept my apologies for mistaking you for one of those leeches. So, what business have you here? This is a land of monstrosities. And I am no exception. Yeah, but you look like less of a monstrosity than everything else in here, and you're not immediately trying to kill me, so... Sure, let's be friends. You're here to save me. But I'm guilty. A wretched child of the abyss. Is that something you can forgive? Yes. Oh, really? You are no ordinary woman. Very well. Besides, I've grown tired of imprisonment. I am Carla, and I accept your proposal. Hooray! Saved a person! Um, I kept remembering every time I talked to the, uh, the shrine handmaiden, back at the shrine, because I remember the, uh, the witch's hat. Really cool looking witch's hat that I would totally be wearing if I wasn't in love with the, um, Boreal Valley Dancers set. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the train and see what she's all about. And then in the next video, we'll be doing, uh, whatever the next place is called. Whatever that place was called. Ooh. There you are. Um. The cathedral. The Duke's Archives. The Duke's Archives. Yes. Okay. Hello. I'm here. How are you doing? Ah. <sighs> There you are. As I said, I am Carla. And I'm grateful to you. Now, what shall we do? The only thing that might interest you is my sorcery. Ooh. Although my dark arts are a detestable sort. Ooh. That wouldn't interest you, would it? Yes. Hmm. You're a wicked one, aren't you? Very well. Humans are of the dark, and you are no different. Some may avert their eyes, but the truth remains the truth. Be careful, though. Few humans are privy to this knowledge. Let it be a secret, kept between you and I. I'm actually very surprised that you'll even try to teach me. I was expecting you to be like, oh, you're too dumb. Like everybody else. I'm not going to use them, by the way, because I am too dumb. I don't use sorceries in, at all. Affinity, a forbidden dark sorcery, casts a dark manifestation of humanity that appears to be an expression of envy or perhaps love towards another that will tenaciously pursue its target, even if, like so many human desires, it amounts to nothing but misfortune. And then Dark Edge. A forbidden dark sorcery strikes with blade formed of humanity's darkness. Passed from mother to daughter, this blade was intended for both protection and as a means of taking one's own life. The young girl never swung it more than once. That's creepy. Uh, let's chat, and then I maybe can give you pyromancy tomes, apparently, like the ones that can only be learned by a woman, and the other ones that, uh, what's-his-face doesn't want to learn. There is one thing that you should know. There is a darkness within man, and I am afraid you will peer into it. Too late. Whether the fear will spark self-reflection or a ruinous nostalgia is up to you entirely. Fear not. Your choice will bring me no scorn. 
There is one. Okay. You want Quelana's pyromancy tome? Oh, a pyromancy tome, have we? Quelana, Witch of Isolith. Well, this is a fascinating pyromancy. Very well. If this is your wish, I will unravel the thing the best I can. Besides, it will be nice to play master for once. You want the other one too? The Grave Warden Pyromancies? Oh, another pyromancy tone, have we? And one that resonates with the dark. Yes, well suited to me. <laughs> I may be a heretical sorcerer, but you bring me nothing but pyromancies. Fiendish little lass, you. I mean, you seem to be enjoying them, so, you know. What do we got? Fire Whip. Primal Pyromancy taught by Quelana, daughter of the Witch of Isolith. Sweeps foes with a fire whip. The caster manipulates the flames at will, making this an extremely difficult spell to use. Pyromancy is at once the knowledge of controlling flame and the knowledge that control is impossible. Firestorm surrounds the caster with multiple pillars of flame. The raging storm is indiscriminate, such as the intrinsic horror of the flame. Report charms the enemy, making them a temporary ally. The living are lured by flame, and this tendency is elemental to the art of pyromancy. I've always wondered if it would be beneficial to like use report and then like uh, like like try to invade someone and then use report to like commandeer an enemy and, and get them to assist you attacking the host or something or vice versa trying to use report to like fight off an invader i don't know i don't i've never used report ever i don't know if it would be effective i don't i have no idea no idea black flame pyromancy discovered by grave wardens after high lord Wolnir fell to the abyss creates a giant black flame in hand black flames born from the abyss bear no shadow. They are said to be the impenetrable fires of humanity. Black fire orb. Hurl a black fireball. The black flame inflicts dark damage, striking targets with weighty force. 20 and 20, 15 and 15. Those are, uh, those are high requirements for spells, although 30 intelligence for the dark edge is also pretty high, and 32 for you have anything else to say There's now? One thing. No. Do stay. I shall endeavor to stay safe. You have anything new to say now that there's a competing pyromancy person here? Oh, see, why are you laying in gore? I don't. You have like all those dead birds. You're kind of creepy, man. Ah, there I am. <laughs> Heed my fear. The home of pyromancy, Isolith, was scorched by the very fire it created. Undoubtedly. It was a flame of chaos, tangled by a witch's hand. But who's to say that this bonfire's flame is any different? I forget if we've heard him say that or not. Heed the hunter. Okay. Do not be gone. What? Last but not least, gotta go see how my good friend Patches feels about having a new person in here. Because he seems like the sort of person who... I don't trust in the slightest, and he might just like go around killing folks, because that's what Patches seems to do every now and then. Okay, that's kind of fun. I can poke things with the torch. Oh, hello. Go. Wait. <laughs> okay, nothing. He's got nothing, which is also totally fine. Can't find anything. Okay. Okay, cool. Done with all of the things for now, and next time we're going to be going off to the Duke's Archives, I guess. Or whatever it's called in this game. You know what it is. You know exactly what it is. So thank you for joining me, and as always, may the grace of the Twilight Dragon be with you.